I was like, I was like, all right, you're gonna have to bleed this maybe, but I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you yeah, I was like screaming it so loud. So it's this guy, okay, John Killeen. And I was like, hey, that sounds like my real name. He's like, John Killeen? I was like, that is my real name. He's like, John Killeen, are you on the stream? And I was like, the f All right, guys, today is a special day. We have the winner of our Z900 RS coming to the shop. It's actually gonna be really cool. His name is John. He's flying out from Los Angeles. We flew him out here to Austin, Texas. And he's actually gonna be riding the bike back to LA, which is crazy. So we gotta go jump in the truck and go get this guy. Come on, Whitney, let's go. I am your Uber driver now. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, here he is. Hey, in John. Person. Holy crap. <laughs> Welcome to Austin, man. Oh, thanks. I love the weather down here. It's yeah. Like sunny than nice, I've ever right? seen. How you doing? <laughs> doing well. Mr. John, introduce yourself oh, for us. <laughs> um, in what way? Where are you from? What oh. your name is? Just Yeah, okay. So I'm John. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. I was like, I was like, wait, what kind of what kind of intro do you want here? In like, what way? I'm like, uh, start with the basics. I like long walks on the beach <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. So I'm from LA. I was born in San Diego, but I'm from LA. I won this bad boy right here. I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, you're gonna have to bleed this maybe. But I was like, are you kidding me? Are you? Yeah, I was like screaming it so loud. The kids came running in from the other room. The cats came running in. The dog came running in. Everybody came like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, I just want a fucking motorcycle. Are you kidding me? I'm going to ride her back home. Uh, I've only been riding for like two years now, two and a half years. Cool. But, so, so unlike Aldo, you actually know how to ride. I do know how to ride. Good. Yes. <laughs> and um, I look forward to taking this puppy back and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm actually gonna meet up with Aldo and yeah. uh, go for a ride, so. So really quick, you're gonna be taking this bike after you won it here to ride it from Austin to LA, right? Yes. That's gonna be cool. That's a 2,000 mile journey or so, right? Yeah, it's just, just under 1,500. Just under 1,500. Yeah, for, well, actually probably by the time I make all my stops, it will be about two grand, but. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, and the longest I've ever ridden before is 312 miles in a day. You're in for a fun trip. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we got you all sorted out with the Nelson rig and the gear large. and everything, which we can That's show everybody on, on screen. All right, John, so we've got you kitted up with some stuff for your journey back to LA. Uh, got these nice NYC Impact Street gloves for you because you didn't bring gloves. You forgot them at home, right? Oh uh, yeah, they're sitting on the shelf, literally right by my, my door. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm you so also smart. forgot or could not bring your helmet, right? Right. So we got that set up for you. And we're also, because you have such a long journey ahead of you, gonna give you this Cardo Pack Talk Edge, the uh, flagship Cardo over here for you. So Perfect. that's gonna be really nice. Uh, we're gonna get that charged up for you. That way you can have communication. Well, I guess you're not gonna be talking to anybody, but you'll be able to get right, you'll be the turn by turn direction, music, podcast, because eight or nine hours on the road can get pretty boring. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get this all set up for you. And then we also got the Nelson rig bags for you on the Z. And that's kind of a pretty nice little rig to get you back to California. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. I wanted to hear about um, your perspective on winning the bike, because I think it's a fun story, right? Okay. We <laughs> we did the stream, and then how, how was it for you? Just walk walk me through everything of the process of you winning it. Okay, so first of all, a friend of mine needed a really huge favor. She had like a last minute job out of town that she had to go do, and she didn't have a babysitter until like midday and she had to leave at 5 a.m. She's like, hey, can you come crash here? You can work from here today, and then my babysitter comes, you can take off. I like, sure, why not? So I show up. She ends up not leaving until like 9.30, which is right about the time you went live, our time in L.A. And uh, by the time she leaves, you're on, and you're actually already been going for a few minutes, so it's like 9.45, 9.50, and I have a meeting at 10 o'clock, a video conference <laughs> at 10 o'clock. So I got my, my laptop set up there, and uh, you're walking, you know, walking us through. You're doing the walk around, and you're doing the uh, the explanation of how it works. And I'm sitting around my phone, you know, little screen, uh, live streaming at 7:20. So I was like, I can't read that Excel spreadsheet. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So you do the whole thing, and then you start going through the numbers, and you pull it up, and there's you're like, all right, it's between these two guys. And all I can see is that the first name of the second person, or the first part of the name, starts with three letters. But I thought you were going to call out the usernames. So I was like, wouldn't that be funny if that was my name, John Killeen? Ha <laughs> ha uh, And then you're like, all right, so it's between these two guys. Okay, this, and you're like, all right. 
so it's this guy. Okay, John Killeen. And I was like, hey, that sounds like my real name. <laughs> He's like, John Killeen. I was like, that is my real John name. <laughs> He's like, California. John Killeen, are you on the stream? And I was like, that's me. Like, no punctuation or anything. Chance. I'm like, the f beep. <laughs> Just at the top of my lungs. Are you f kidding me? <laughs> and kids come running into the room. The dog comes running into the room. The cats <laughs> come running into the room. All of them are like, what, what? I'm like, I just want to beat motorcycle. I'm really trying to censor myself here. <laughs> I understand. It's a, Whitney, Whitney will say, yeah, don't worry. Um, All right, guys, today's video is proudly supported by Cardo Communicators. Now, you guys have seen us shout these out before. We are tried and true believers in the Cardo power. So these Pack Talk Edge here, the brand new system, is great for communicating with your friends, listening to music and all that. And check it out. It's also got the magnetic setup over here so you know it's not gonna fall off your helmet. We actually hooked up John over here who's working on his Z900 RS and making sure it has a nice windshield on it for his big ride back to LA. And this is the helmet we gave to him. So we got him this SS900 helmet with the Cardo attached onto it. That's how much we believe in the communicators over here. Hit the link down below to shop.yamiradco and check out all of our communicators down there in the link in the description. So I just like repeat over and over like, I can't, and you're like, nah, you'd be way more excited. I was like, you can't hear me <laughs> yeah because i did uh, see you on stream you just said that's me and i'm yeah. like it's not you come on get out of here like it was just all lowercase no punctuation like i said just that's me i'm like sure whatever yeah like yeah. i barely type like i was like trying not to dance and jump yeah. around i'm like that's me I'm like, but then on on discord when i came back i saw that your username was irish trash and you had in parentheses 900 or bust i wasn't even planning on winning this bike i didn't think i was gonna win it <laughs> So then I put the 900 bust as I was giving entries for this. I think it was the first time you said But your max photo entries. was also uh, a Z900 because yes. you rented one, right? Right, I had rented one before that. That's why how I knew I'd, I rented this one and then I rented the MT-09, which is yeah. how I knew I was like, all right, I know what bike I want, what range I want. Now, which bike do I actually want? A month before I was like, all right, you know what? I'm done f***ing around. After this, if I don't win it, I'm gonna go buy it. I don't give a f I'm going to have a bike after this, either way. Um, and then I was like, all right, cool. And then I didn't think any more about it. In another video, you were like, get blah for 3X entries. And I bought the sweater. And I was like, I need a sweater. I was like, boom, get the sweater and 3X yep. entries. And so that's why I had ended up with the 1300. Bike. Yeah, but you're also, um, I think those shoes too that you're wearing, yeah, you bought these shoes. The I bought store. these also. They're the, the magic store. shoes, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I bought these. So basically, buy the shoes and buy the sweater. <laughs> if you get those two things, you'll win. This is definitely. Um, beyond happy with this. Yeah. I mean, I just couldn't believe like people, everybody I know is like, what? And every day they see me like, did you get the bike? I was like, nope, nope. I'm going out to pick it up and I'm riding it back. And yeah, you're the first person who wants to ride it back. Everybody else has, uh, has had it shipped or, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It, I hope more people do it because it's an awesome experience to ride something like that back. I can't wait. I'm totally stoked for it. I, I'm, I think part of it is the fact that I've never done it. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's something now that I'm in my dotage as an old man, uh, I like to do things that I've never done before. Um, so tell me about your riding experience. You said you've been riding for about two so years. So I've been, yeah, I've been riding for about two years. Um, prior to the accident, actually, the, the accident I was on was in a, on a Rebel 250. Um, and the Rebel was fine. Everything else was fine. And honestly, I would have been Absolutely fine. I think I was doing somewhere between 15 and 25 miles per hour on a downhill decreasing radius turn, uh, which, yeah, it was kind of tight and kind of low and I was new and I was on Rebel 250, but I was literally just going a little too fast and all I needed to do was squeeze that brake. Just yeah. a little bit more and I would have been right back on track. But I also got target fixated at the same time as well. So like I wasn't braking and I was like, don't looking at like, don't hit, don't, don't, don't. And it was just, what happened was I hit gravel and it just, and there's uh, the guardrail and it literally just boom. And it stopped wedged under there like oh. completely. And I kept going. So yeah. my leg was under there and I would. So now you're kind of getting back into the fold with motorcycling. What's something you're really yeah. excited about with this bike to kind of do going forward? Um, Trying to do a lot of day I mean, rides with it. Go a lot to of day rides. rides and stuff. Uh, what do you want to do? A lot of my friends ride on weekends. We Right where I live, I'm like kind of central to like five or six different there's canyons I could run. This actually, the reason why I just settled on 900s specifically was because I figured that was, I could handle the power. It wasn't so crazy that I was gonna do a wheelie every time I tried to get out of, or get moving. Um, and 
it's powerful enough that if I'm at highway speeds and I need to pull out, I can pull out. You know, I can actually, I can move. Yeah. Whereas everything smaller I'd ridden, I mean, I'm not super heavy, I'm 195 or whatever, but everything else, I just feel like, I, I went, I, about 80 miles an hour, I'm stuck at 80. Yeah. I can get higher, but it's gonna take time. And I sometimes, in LA especially, you don't have time. And I wanna do long trips because I have also have friends who like to do long rides and they do big hikes out to like uh, some pretty cool rock climbing places. Yeah. And uh, eventually I'll be riding with them. So that was what I wanted to pick it. And, to be honest, I'm gonna keep this for a while and see how it goes. I may end up upgrading to the MTO9 to do the same thing. We'll see. That's fair. Uh, That's fair. I think I that do I, I do think that bike will charm you and you will fall in love with it though. I, yeah. It's a very charming, nice motorcycle and one well, that you want to feel like you could keep for a long time. Yeah. I, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, well also, what you guys did with the exhaust, I mean, maybe it's that, maybe it's just having maintained it better, but the one I rented was not anywhere near this condition and riding it like is, is like literally I could feel that that one was an old bike. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, the chain was a little loose and yeah. it was old and grimy. I was like, mm, not like, maintained. When was the last time you actually cleaned the chain? You yeah. know, that kind of thing. So, but yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to using the sh out of this bike. I'm just literally going to use for. it for everything, commuting, traveling. Anytime I don't have my kids and need the car, I'll be riding this thing. Awesome. Yeah. Well, John, any last thoughts or uh, things you want to tell the audience? Uh, I had a funny thing I was going to say. I forgot what it was, but... Um, you blew it. You had your moment. <laughs> I did. Look, at you lay, you fucking lay up, and I just, like, <laughs> slipped on the banana peel I and passed you the it. ball. What are you doing? Um, but, yeah, oh, there was... I, I'm going to throw this in there just because somebody asked the question, does getting more entries make a difference? And, yes, it really does, <laughs> yeah. because... If I had only gotten like the default amount, the next person on the list would have won the bike. And if the guy before me had done anything more than the minimum, yep, he, he would have won. won. Yep. I literally won by the hundred, the, the, I think 200 points. Mm -hmm. So he literally, if he'd done anything more and he'd gotten like three, four and a punch more, he would have won. Yep. So it's, uh, it's, it makes a huge difference. And yeah. you should really definitely do it. Make, have as big a band as you can make. That's what yeah. you want to do. So I, I have not done shopping on yamanoob.com. I got I to gotta win the Royal Enfield. I got to win the Street Fighter. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm coming for him. Yeah. Luck of the Irish right here. Yep. Yeah. Well, John, thank you so much. We hope you enjoy the bike. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. Cool, no problem. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know, maybe leave me a comment down below about how you much you hated it as well too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.